everybody, it's Dizzy, and if you would like to see how to do this cute faux updo on very short hair, then just keep watching. Okay, so this is the first of my kind of pixie grow out styles because I have now had a pixie cut for about five weeks. Um, so what I did was I went ahead and sectioned off a bang section and I actually did trim my bangs into sort of a baby doll bang shape, which is a little short, but I know that when I'm growing my hair out, I tend to do a lot of looks that are kind of controlling the sides and pulling them back. So um, I thought it might be nice to have something kind of in the front so it's not just like forehead coming at you. So that's why I have bangs, but I section those off. Everything else, for as far back as I could to the sides and the top, are all rolled back off the face. I went as far down as I could, but as you can see, I couldn't go that far because my hair gets pretty short. So I'm just going to go ahead and take the Velcro rollers out. I used a couple sizes. I used this size, and there's this one, it's a little bit bigger, and then these green ones. So these are the sizes that are on my head. And I just kind of spritzed my hair with water and left them in for a couple hours to just kind of dry. You could do this with a curling iron as well if you wanted, as long as all the hair is going back. Then I'm gonna take my Denman styling brush. and just brush through everything. I'm gonna have a look at the back of my hair and see how that's gonna blend in. Okay, now this next part, I'm gonna take some smaller bobby pins. You can take whatever size bobby pins work in your hair. These are like normal size ones. These are the ones that I use, they're very small. And I'm gonna take this teasing brush. Make sure my bangs are separated nice and clean. I'm gonna take that hair, create just a little bit of a poof and just bobby pin it. Take this hair, do the same. So what you're creating is sort of a fake updo on very, very, very short hair. I like these small bobby pins too because they're very easy to hide in the hair. And if your hair is the same color as the bobby pins, even better. I don't have any super small pink ones. So you are just penning that all the way around. My cat is up here. Do you guys want to see Remy? It's been like a million years since you've seen Remy. So I'll show him to you. Since we're almost done with this style, it's so fast. Here's Remy. Oh, big guy. Isn't he cute? That's my Remy cat. Remy, and this is his fishy, which is like a little fish toy, but he plays fetch with it and he brought it up here because he wanted me to throw it. Okay. So just kind of arrange your hair to hide as much of those little bobby pins as you can. But you see how this gives you kind of a 60s, like kind of beehivey kind of feeling? 
I'm gonna look at the back. Let's see how that's looking. Oh, what happened? He came back. You hear him. Where's your fishy? There we go. Okay, you ready? And just throw it for him again. He's a little dog. Okay. Let's see. Where is my Mira? What? got some holes in the back back here so if you find any spots that are like kind of not covering or like just look weird you can just can't see my head is huge apparently just kind of take the teasing brush kind of brush through them but yeah Okay, so then that's pretty cute already. But if you want to like spruce it up a little, you can take some flowers. These are my little orchids. And I'm going to use them to kind of cover my bobby pins strategically. Look at these green ones too. And suddenly you have this like very tropical kind of springy hairstyle. This spot, this one's a little funky. I don't like how low that one is. Okay, let's see. And look, I lost my bobby pin. Let's try this again. You just have to kind of like fuss with it until you get it to look the way you want to. Let's see if the back is still good. And yeah, you could hairspray this to kind of keep it in place, do whatever you feel like you need to do. But this is the front. And this is the side, the back, and the other side. So there you go. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this gave you an idea. This is one of those growing out styles that works for a long time. I mean, the longer your sides get, the easier it is to pull it back. It makes, like I said, this cute kind of pseudo 60s beehive. Um, and using the Velcro rollers really helps to get the volume here but since it's short hair you can't get it like too super high so it looks proportional so i hope this was helpful for some of you guys and i'll see you next time bye